Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna go over how to install Git and how to set up our name and email address so that every time we create a commit, people know exactly who created the commit. All right, so let's go ahead and download Git. You do that by going to a browser and just type in download Git. Okay, this will help you find the correct site. Um, you could also go directly to it by uh, using this URL, git-scm.com forward slash downloads. If it takes you to a page that looks something like this, then you're doing it right. And you're gonna have three options here, uh, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Click on whichever one your computer is running. So I'm running Windows, so I'll click on Windows. And basically it's gonna download this file here okay you click on this file and it's gonna open up this window here this is called the installation wizard basically it's just gonna help you install the application but I'm pretty sure you guys already know that just go ahead and click next a bunch of times and accept the default settings um, you can't really go wrong with any of the default settings if you want you could uh, change the path or other things on there but basically, uh, just click next, 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 and um, and it'll install for you. So I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Once it's installed on your computer, you should be able to right-click anywhere. And now you'll see an option here called Git Bash here. Okay. Now, depending if you uncheck this option during the installation, you may or may not see this option as well, Git GUI here. Now, these tutorials are gonna be based off of the stuff we're gonna do using this, um, the Git Bash window, okay? So, go ahead and click on Git Bash, all right? And it's gonna bring up a window that looks something like this, all right? And basically, this window is for you to write Git commands and tell Git what you want it to do, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check what version of Git we're running, okay? Well, let's see what version of Git we have. So you type in Git space dash dash and then version, okay? Press enter and you should see the version of Git that you have. Now I have 2.33.0. All right, so as of September 29th, 2001, that is the latest one. All right, so we're good on that. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna set the name and email in the configuration file, okay? Basically what we do is we type git config dash dash global and user dot name okay all one word just like that and then in parentheses we type in our name all right and once we press enter it'll set the name in the config file as you know whatever you put in parentheses now big question is where is this config file all right so this is all living in your programs folder within your C drive. You don't have to worry about where it's stored, okay? Just know that you can modify all that stuff from here in the git bash window, all right? So just to make sure that everything, uh, or that the name was set up correctly, you type in git config and then user.name, just like that. You press enter and it will show you what the what the name was set to okay all right so the, the name is uh set up let's go ahead and set up the email and we do that by typing git config dash dash global and then user dot email okay and then in parentheses we put in our email address 
All right, you press enter and it sets the email to whatever you put in the parentheses. Now to verify, okay, just like we did with the with the name, we type in git config user dot email. All right, press enter and it'll show you what you set the email to. Now the reason we're setting up the name and email is because every time we create a commit, okay, it's gonna have our name and email tied to it. All right, and this is good because that way other developers, other people are gonna know who created the changes, okay? And so that really helps, especially if you're working on a team. Uh, if you have any questions on a commit, you could always go ahead and reach out to that person and, um, you know, ask them questions on the changes in the commit. All right, so um, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.